What's up, y'all? It's Todd with Chase and Tail MD. I'm going to bring you guys a brief video today discussing a topic that gets thrown around pretty often. Everybody wants to kill a big buck. I don't care if you're just starting out or if you've been hunting for years and you're strictly trophy hunting. Everybody would like to kill a big buck. Um, what gets often overlooked is the reasons why you're not killing a big buck. So today I wanted to talk about the top three reasons why that's not happening for you. So reason number one, it's kind of obvious, but you're not going to kill a big buck if there's no big buck to kill. For the sake of this video, when I say big buck, I'm, I'm speaking about mature bucks because a big buck out here in Maryland, for someone that's hunting in Iowa and the Midwest every single year, they're not going to think it's a big buck. So for the sake of this video, I'm referring to mature bucks. Um, but yeah, you, you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna catch five pound largemouth bass in a pond full of one pound largemouth bass. So you've got to be realistic. If there's no big bucks in your area, they don't have the habitat. If they're not making it to the right age, you're you're not gonna harvest a mature buck. End of story. There's tons of reasons why your area might not have mature bucks. Oftentimes here out in Maryland, there's too much hunting pressure. The bucks aren't making it to a mature age. Most bucks don't even see three and a half years of age around here. So it makes it extra tough. Another reason, which I see this pretty often here in one of my spots, even when the bucks do get mature, the four and a half year old bucks, they're right around 100 inches. So I don't know about you, but I'm not considering that a big buck. You know, I will still harvest a four and a half year old deer. That's the goal that I set up for myself is to harvest mature bucks four and a half years of old and older. Um, but yeah, so if I've got two four and a half year olds in an area and one's 100 inches and the other's 130, I'm gonna be waiting for the, the 130 inch class deer. But, you know, that's the hard, the hard truth of it. Some areas just don't have good genetics. So you've gotta deal with what you got. Um, one final thing that I, that I would say is keeping mature bucks out of your area is having too many does around. Big bucks don't like to be around a bunch of does. All right, reason number two why you're not killing big bucks. Basically, you're impatient. So if you're shooting bucks before they get to be mature, that is a 100% guarantee that you're filling your tag on a buck that's not big and you're preventing that buck from ever becoming big. So this is something that, you know, more power to you if you would rather harvest those two and three year old bucks, that's a big buck to you, no problem. But don't be asking why you're not killing the mature bucks. That would be why. Reason number three, and this is a broad one, throwing a big net on this one, but you're not putting in enough time and effort. I mean, I could go on for hours about this, but overall, you gotta put in the time, you gotta put in the effort. You know, they always say, you're not gonna kill them on the couch. While that's true, you don't want also, you don't want to overpressure an area. You need to do your homework, figure out when is a good time to hunt, what is the right wind to hunt in your area, when are the big bucks going to be in your area. If you're hunting a rut funnel in early season where there's no food, you're probably not going to see any big bucks. You need to not overpressure your area and, you know, go in at the right time. I was very guilty of this when I first started, you know, trying to harvest strictly mature bucks. You don't want to overhunt stands. That's one of the worst things that you can possibly do. But yeah, put in the time, put in the effort, be prepared. You know, you're even even if you do everything perfect, you're not going to get many opportunities at a mature buck throughout a season, especially on the area where I'm hunting. So you want to be ready. Basically, if you've got all your equipment ready and you're ready to capitalize when that opportunity does present itself, you're doing everything you can. You know, obviously things can happen. We make bad shots, but do, do as much as you can, time and effort wise, to be prepared to, to harvest one of these big mature bucks and it's gonna happen. Um, anybody can get lucky. Everybody's seen, you know, Joe Schmo with his big 150 inch buck on opening day of rifle season because it walked under his stand when his neighbor pushed him out of his bedding area. But if you wanna consistently kill mature bucks, it takes time, it takes effort, and it takes patience among a thousand other things. But it's not easy, but that's why we love doing it. So if you have any questions, if there's anything I missed, you know, as I said, it was a super brief video, but just wanted to talk about this topic today because I know it gets brought up a lot. And I think a lot of times, instead of worrying about how to kill a mature buck, we should start worrying about why we're not killing a mature buck. And we're
learn from there. So if you liked today's video, I would appreciate it if you could uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I uh, hope to bring you some more informative content like this. Let me know if you've got any feedback in the comment section. Thank you.